Hey Virgos, welcome back to another video, my soul tribe, my love, love, lovies. Thank you guys for all your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Let's dive in. Okay, we are about to take a peek at your person, Virgo. Let's see whoever this is with you on their mind or whoever may be on your mind. Let's see what this person is thinking about you right at this time. And then we'll see what their feelings are towards you. And then we'll get you some advice with the tarot to see what spirit says about this connection and what you need to know or what may be coming towards you. We'll also see if anything is blocking your union or if there is something coming in between you. Um, let's see what's going on here with your person. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, give me clear messages for Virgo. Thank you, Archangel Michael and company for protecting us as we go in beneath the veil to give Virgo a clear message. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for using me as a positive vessel of love, light, and positive energy for the Virgos. Amen, amen, and amen. And let's see what's going on, my lovey. So right now, what this person is thinking and what they're doing, something having to do with an addiction, all right? So I feel like somebody could have addiction on their mind or this could just be something that somebody is addicted to. This says codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, and has a block or restraint. So Virgo, this could be the way you see your person. And this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This is a general, guys. So don't try to make it fit. Don't stress yourself out, okay? Check the other videos if this particular one isn't resonating with you at this time, okay? But take the roles how it resonates. They can be reversed. Somebody here is just having love on their mind. Somebody could feel sad. It's hard for them to get this love or this situation off their mind. Um, Whoever this is, I feel like they feel kind of a codependent or very attached to this person kind of like an addiction like they can't get enough of you or you can't get enough of them somebody you see how this person is just like kind of dragging the heart feeling like they are trapped somebody could be feeling like they're trapped in a relationship or stuck or it's like they're stuck on someone and maybe it's hard to shake you or it's hard for you to shake them Somebody could feel like you're very controlling or you could feel like your partner is very controlling. And maybe you feel like this person has some type of addiction that is holding them back. Or maybe somebody is doing something so excessively that it could be creating blockages for them. And I feel it may be your person, Virgo, because I feel you may be um, encouraging this person to do and be their best. But somebody is just not able to operate at their highest frequency right now it's like they're not their best version of themselves at this time okay so let's see what else comes out here what else is going on for virgo's person what's on their mind spirit what's going on how does this person feel toward virgo somebody can feel like you're kind of controlling all right and they could feel like you're obsessed with them show me or vice versa somebody could feel like you're obsessed with the idea of getting married or you could feel like someone else is obsessed with the idea of getting married. Somebody really wants to be together forever. Somebody doesn't want to give up. It's like, I would really believe that we could work this out. Um, somebody is feeling like maybe um, spirituality has something to do with it because I just heard keep God first. But I feel like maybe somebody is saying that or maybe that's something counseling mentioned or something like that. But somebody could be talking to a church counselor or thinking about going to skit counseling before you guys decide to tie the knot or something like that. But the the overall energy from this card that I'm feeling is somebody is really, really persistent about getting married and having a strong foundation. Somebody is very serious about marriage um, and dating with a purpose, all right? And somebody could feel a bit trapped behind that. Let's see what else. So Virgo, this could very well be your person that wants to get married or they want you to be serious about this um, and you just want to take your time or this could be you serious about commitment and really wanting this person to fully commit to you, not just the shallow end. You want to go all the way in. You feel like you really could make it, okay? Um, with the relationship evolving, um, it says the next phase, I mean, to the next phase, 
Um, <laughs> this literally says NEST, the nest phase. Um, healing the inner child and growth. So somebody wants this relationship to move to the next phase. This is underneath the bottom of the deck. So whether they're um one of you are really expressing it or not, I feel like somebody definitely is expressing it and so much that is weighing the other person down. But um somebody does want a commitment that they can trust in, somebody that they can rely on and really fully commit to. Stand in the back, came in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to be betrayed, but I feel like somebody could have did something shocking. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So I feel like whatever this person is going through, whatever's making this person feel this way, it's causing them to betray you. Go behind your back and like talk to other people, pursue other people, see what else is out there. All right. You just could feel very betrayed by this person. You feel like somebody here feels like this person is exploring other options. That's why they're not committing. Your person feels a bit weighed down in this situation when it comes to getting married. Somebody here is not ready. They want to date. They want to take their time meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan or set a date. Somebody is telling this person that they better set a date or else, okay? Like, somebody is serious. <laughs> somebody just wants to take their time and continue the dating stage. Somebody's feeling like it's maybe not time yet. Somebody also could be looking at somebody's picture, missing you a lot. Maybe you separated from this person because they betrayed you. Um, but whatever this is, I feel like this person is really thinking about things. They're thinking about committing they're thinking about how strongly they are connected to you and how much they love you because I feel like whatever they did to make you distance yourself from them is really getting to this person. See, this is talking to somebody who's separated from their person because this person is looking at pictures, feeling bad about sabotaging something. So this is talking to somebody whose person did something. And whatever they did, I feel like you separated from them. You're trying to give them time to think about their choices. Somebody is in strong hopes that this person will clear their mind, understand that you guys belong together and come back. Somebody feels like this person is deliberately sabotaging this relationship because they don't want to fully commit. Yes, that's what I see here. And on the outside, it's like when you're supposed to be clearing your mind and getting things together and figuring out what you want to do in this relationship, somebody is on the side like dating. <laughs> and I feel like when you talk to this person, they just mirror you. It's like they just mirror you. They're telling you whatever you want to hear. And I feel like all you're doing is seeing the things that you can't stand in yourself in this person. It's like this person is mirroring everything that you did not like about yourself, everything that you worked on, everything that you fixed. Now this person is like mirroring that energy to you and it's very triggering and very frustrating. So somebody, somebody has somebody here who is in this learning stage where you already learned the things that you see this person doing. And it's kind of like really annoying to you because you want this person to step up to the plate, do what they know is right and fully invest or walk away for good. You don't really even want to entertain that walk away for good part because I feel like somebody here really, really wants something to work with the other person. Yeah, but they feel pressured about marriage or about commitment. Somebody feels very pressured about this. All right, so they, they feeling kind of stressed a little bit. Um, and I feel like the pressure is what made them stab you in the back because I feel like they feel like it's no turning you down, Virgo. For some of you guys, you have very strong energy and you're serious about what you want. This person knows what you want and they feel like it's no way out. It's like you either do it your way or the highway. Somebody feels like that, y'all. Mm -hmm. They do. They really do. Um, let's see how this person is feeling right now. What else does Virgo need to know about this person's feelings toward them? Show me clear messages, Spirit. What is this person thinking about when it comes to Virgo? What is this person thinking about when it comes to my Virgo? I know, something told me to use this deck. Crown Chakra. Okay, so transformation, disruption, material or financial change, and Crown Chakra. So that's too many cards, but that's an interesting set of cards. So this person has a lot on their mind about what they did to 
sabotage this connection. They're thinking about transforming the relationship. I feel like they're thinking about how you're ending it and they don't want you to end it for good. So somebody's trying to weigh their options to see what they can do. Show me how this person is feeling right now, Spirit, about this situation with Virgo. This person is trying to take control of the situation. This person is trying to show control, show leadership, step up to the plate and show some authority. They're trying to take authority over their feelings and the things that are happening in the relationship. How else is this person feeling about this situation that's happened? Wisdom. So this person is learning from their mistakes. This person is thinking about the family, thinking about a happy life with you, thinking about the household, thinking about what it takes to be a leader. Even if this is a female, this person is thinking about their, their mistakes, really reflecting on the things that they've done. Somebody doesn't want to really lose you either, Virgo. I mean, I really see that here. This person feels a little bit weighed down with the responsibilities, but they do want things to work with the partnership and alliance card. Somebody here is dealing with somebody that really does want things to work. They want a positive outcome in this situation, okay? Um, and also, Virgo, your person sees you as very approachable. They see they see you as wise. So they do trust your advice. They trust your judgment. And they do want things to change with the transformation card, a significant change for the better. I feel like something has to die in this relationship in order for it to work, in order for it to evolve. And this person really does know that. So let's find out what needs to be done here to make things work because this person is thinking about find foundations and achievements, longevity in the long term. So this person is thinking about the future. So if you think that they're not reflecting, they, they may have done some dumb things in the past, but this person is really thinking about how things are going and what they really want when it comes to you. So they, they really are. So let's go ahead and tap into the tarot and see what's going on here with this person. I'm going to use these. So let's see what's happening here. Somebody does want to recognize victory with you. I do see that here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides give Virgo a clear message. I see that the communication can be a bit rocky, but you guys do have a meeting of the minds here with whoever this person is. So it's like you guys can talk about things. If you guys put your egos aside and not be mad at each other, you guys really can talk about things and make some type of difference here. So let's see what Spirit wants you to know. So what is this person thinking about when it comes to Virgo? What is this person's plan when it comes to this relationship? Show me as far as the partnership and engagement ring. First of all, let's do mirror. Why is this person mirroring Virgo? What's, what's really on this person's mind? All right, so these are upside down. We got the page of pentacles. So this person is thinking about making effort. They're thinking about their investment. You know, it's like the least they could do. They're thinking about the least they could do. But I feel like this person is, it's like they're trying to fake it until they can make it in a way. So it's like they're growing, they're learning from you. But at the same time, they do want to invest in this. They don't want to let this go. This person could be thinking about finances and their contribution. They want to be able to match your energy here. That's what I just got. Somebody here wants to be able to match your energy. Show me engagement ring and how this person is feeling toward Virgo when it comes to this partnership. How is this person really feeling when it comes to being engaged? Queen of Pentacles here. All right. So this person feels like you're worthy. This person feels like you would be make a good partner with the Queen of Pentacles energy. This person sees that this will be a very loving and nurturing connection, um, a connection that has a lot of um, possibilities, you know, for success. I feel like this this relationship in their eyes would be geared to success. They feel like that you will create a very stable environment. And this could be male or female. Somebody just feels like you're a nurturing, loving, stable person. Um, and you believe in family. Somebody feels like you also deserve this. Show me how else this person feels toward my Virgo when it comes to a relationship or commitment. Wow. Eight of Cups. So to be honest, this person could be thinking about walking away from this. 
to be honest. Somebody could be thinking about walking away from everything that they stood for, like everything that's been happening here. Somebody feels like, honestly, they love you, but they feel like they have a lot of work to do. Somebody could feel like they really need to work on themselves. They do. Somebody could feel like they need to talk to... Is, because I feel like with this Six of Pentacles at the bottom, I saw the Six of Pentacles. Somebody, it's like somebody really wants to work on themselves and get better with this. Show me the Eight of Cups. What else for the Eight of Cups walking away? So somebody could feel like you're walking away from them. Did they feel sad about this energy? Feeling like somebody's walking away from them? Show me addiction. Wow. It's like somebody is so obsessed with marriage here. So Virgo, you could be dealing with somebody who really is trying to seal the deal with you and lock you down. Or this could be you really wanting somebody to marry you and you are... It's like you're focused on that. Show me five of cups. Why is somebody feeling in despair? Why is somebody sad? So somebody is really sad that you walked away because they won't marry you. See, here's the king of pentacles here. And somebody is sad. They really want to come into your life, be in your energy. Um, somebody is feeling like you guys could be very well off with the Ace of Pentacles energy. They're feeling like this will be a very stable and solid and secure relationship. Show me what else is here under addiction. Somebody could have addiction to work, money, or somebody could feel very tied down to you. I, I don't even feel like it's about money. I feel like you guys both make nice money. That's why the Ace of Pentacles here. That is what the energy that I'm getting. You guys make a bag. King and Queen of Pentacles, you guys will have wealth okay if you are together and not only that you will have a very stable and secure relationship show me what else but addiction this person is like it's like they're dragging their feelings around for you they can't let you go with the eight of pentacles they really want to work this out with you they really really want to work this out with you virgo and it's definitely two earth signs here and a water sign i saw water Show me photographs. Somebody is looking at your photos or missing you, having nostalgia, thinking about the memories, ready to make new memories. How's this person feeling about the memories for Virgo? Somebody is wishing for you. They feel like you're their wish fulfillment, but y'all having confusion right now, this conflict. They're having conflict about this, or it's like the arguing. It's like you're not seeing eye to eye at this time. How does this person, what is this person doing to sabotage this connection? What is this person doing to sabotage this connection with Virgo? lover situation so this person could have stepped out on the relationship what else is this person doing to sabotage the connection tower something having to do with your upbringings background or some type of belief spiritual belief or something like that or this person is married and never got a divorce Somebody never got a divorce so it's like they can't really fully invest in this until they figure out what they're gonna do that's crazy. Somebody here is still freaking married. So it's like it, they told you they're divorced or not married anymore. They lied. Show me butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase. How does this person feel about the relationship going to the next phase with Virgo? Wow. This person wants to make you their counterpart. With the Empress here. This person really wants to move things forward. This person feels like you would be a good candidate. Praying for balance between you guys. The angel was coming in, trying to balance out the situation. Like he, this person, he or she is praying for balance. Somebody could be dealing with the Taurus, but somebody here is praying for balance in the situation. Show me the temperance. You're standing your ground. Somebody is standing their ground here, knowing their worth, not, not taking any crap from this person. But this person is definitely heartbroken about what they did. And they think about this all the time. Show me meeting someone new. Wow. So Virgo, this could be you wanting to meet someone new or this person. Someone kind of wants to meet someone new. Somebody is thinking about this. They're all in their head about this. It's like, should I go? Should I stay? It's like, but they're attached to you. Some type of emotional attachment. 
It's like it won't let them move on. Show me stabs in the bag. It's like this person secretly dates people. Page of page of swords. So you could have found out. This is finding out what can't be seen. So somebody could have spied or saw something. Maybe this person feels like you stabbed them in the bag instead of dating them or or giving them another chance. You could have met somebody new. <laughs> Virgo said, I don't have time for the drama or the games. You want to bring drama and you want to be unsure and lie about a marriage, then I I can date somebody else, right? Show me nine of swords and somebody is argumentative or something like that. Holding on to you. This stress. Somebody could be holding on to people from the past also. And maybe that's why you separated from this person. But this person could be watching you, spying on you or whatever. Or they feel like you had emotional fulfillment or some type of emotional pleasure with somebody else. Or you found out that this person did. Ten of pentacles. Could have been at your house. Three of cups in reverse. Won't You won't reconcile with them. Somebody is saying basically like they know that they can make you happy. They will treat you well. We can have a happy family, but you just won't reconcile with them. And I feel like you won't reconcile with them because of the way they are. Somebody could be extremely controlling here. Um, and not only are they controlling, but somebody could be too aggressive with the five of swords. Yeah, somebody, it's like this obsessive energy is what you don't like. Like you like somebody attracted to you, but... It's the way that they go about doing things. And this person is sad that you won't give them another opportunity. But I feel like you've already given them chances at least three times. So now, honestly, the tower is here. Show me the outcome in this situation for Virgo. What's the outcome, spirit? Star, healing, rejuvenation. Wow. Wow. So it looks like you're going to be moving on, Virgo. I feel like you're going to be moving on. It's too much confusion here. This person just is, it's like they bring too much confusion. So I feel like you're moving away. You're standing your ground here and waiting, continuing to invest in what you want and waiting for a spirit to bring you the right thing. So you're waiting for the right person to come along here. Mm. Good for you, Virgo. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. If you want to book your reading, book it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. I will see you guys later. Bye, lovies.